Alright, so first things first, the Blackstone Dragon is really easy. Don't be too intimidated by it. So I'm, I'm going to show you real simply how you do it. His melee attacks hit really hard. So you can just, you can pretty much just meet a uh, prayer flick here. And once he hits 519,000 HP, that's when the next phase will start. And you could hit him lower than that, but that's typically when it starts. So he'll start, he'll start spawning black hands. You could soul split it pretty much. And then once that black smoke comes, mage pray, and then go back to soul split. And you can also resonance those, the little black cloud hits, and it'll heal you for a good chunk, like watch. It'll heal you. So after that's done, just keep moving on to the hands. And then you'll see these little black hands spawn and they'll hit you for a lot so you can just move one square to the side and then you'll be safe or if you're being real scary you can just run like this you can just run you see that that's what that'll that's what would that'll kill you So this next hit, I'm a resonance and see. I'm gonna show you guys how much damage you can heal. You see how much that was? All right. So then the fight will continue after the four are done. Also, another cool thing to have is storm shards and shatter. That's really good to have. Also. So you can, after this phase, he'll just start spawning this big old circle of fire, which hits a lot if you get caught in the middle of it. You see? That's how much it'll hit you for. You don't want, you don't want to do that. And when he spins... That's typically a range attack. When he bites down, that's melee. Just like that. And then that's range. And it's typically after he does that range attack, he'll he'll pretty much do the, the melee. And then when you see the screen shake, you'll see that. And that you can resonance that too if you're really low on HP and all that. And then once he gets to about 250 something thousand K HP, then he'll start phase three, I believe. So you could do storm shards again. You can get out the circle if you feel like it. And then he'll start flying in the air. And then this is something you got to pay attention to. So you see how if you're really close to him, he'll start spawning those fire. But if you're far away from him, he won't. That's something to pay attention to. So if you got storm shards and shatter, you can just throw it on him, collect the stacks.
And one thing about these fire trails, it will follow you. It will follow you until it, it reaches a cap. So you just keep running until he says, show me the light. So you see how he just says, show me the light. That means you can go back in. Yeah, so you see how I almost died? That melee hit hurts. And this is why I typically take the yak, because you see how I lost out of food? So, put another storm shard. Shatter it. Oh, it missed. Alright, fair enough. And then that's it. That's the whole boss fight. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed the guide, hit that like button and subscribe for more guides.